morning guys hope you're well just want to quickly say thanks for the positive comments i've been getting recently on the youtube channel it really does inspire me to make more videos um, and i enjoy helping some of the new people out there because i remember how tough it was when i first started my business 16 years ago and sometimes it's hard for me to actually think back to when i actually started about the things i take for granted now were actually quite difficult when i first started and i've learned most of my skills through trial and error making mistakes um and going through each year just improving myself you know with steady steps every year yeah continuously learning off uh, mistakes um if you don't make mistakes and overcome them you, you don't you don't improve no nobody just starts out knowing everything in this business and um yeah i was always an hands-on kind of guy but um you know, I started with absolutely no qualifications, but um, as, as I've gone through the years, I've sort of gained my chainsaw certificates, my spraying certificates, and I've done a few sort of short landscaping uh, courses at the uh, local ag agricultural college. Um, but um, yeah, I'm a little bit of a jack of all trades, but the master of none in, in, in some respects. Um, but what it does, it, it means you can offer lots of services for, to different people and um yeah create lots of uh, billable man hours by being able to do lots of different things not a bad place to come and work nice view here so i've just arrived at the first job uh our main tasks are to clear hard surfaces of debris mow the lawns the first cut of the year and also spray any weeds new emerging weeds in the hard surfaces michael came here earlier on in the uh, yeah, and he uh, trimmed a lot of the hedges and pruned a lot of the trees. So Michael will unload the mower now and he'll get cracking. So when we turn at these jobs, at least one of us will start mowing straight away because nobody's going to go to the next job until the mowing's done. So uh, on this occasion, Michael's going to do all the mowing and I'll, I'll sort all the debris out and spray the weeds.
is another extra job I've got to do while I'm here. So I always carry uh, a pruning saw and uh, I do have a chain saw today but I think I could do most of that with a pruning saw. Might need the edge cutter just to polish it off after. So what I've done, I've cleared all the debris from the lawns so when Michael's mowing he can just crack on. And I've already cleared the debris from car park spaces so if any cars turn up now um, they're not going to be covering the debris. So this is the last section I'll do. Um, but I've got no concerns there with anybody parking. To show you Michael mowing, most of the year, or what I'd say start of the year and the end of the year on commercial jobs, we, we do collect all the debris. Just leaves the place looking a lot cleaner. Residential jobs, we always collect the debris. But there might be a point here this year where we'll mulch uh, some of the grass. There's Michael there, coming round with the mower. He's got his radio on, he's in the zone. So this is a before shot. I'm gonna get on with some other jobs and then uh, I'll come back in when he's uh, finished or nearly finished. customer gave me this, it's quite a handy little tool. There's Mike, he's nearly finished that stretch. He's got a big stretch at the front to do now. So I'll keep him happy for a bit. Just in case there's any customers or potential customers watching, um, at the start of the season I tend to go to jobs where I feel mostly appreciated. Uh, we get paid on time. That doesn't mean getting paid the next day, just being paid when uh, we're expected to get paid. Sometimes that could be a month, sometimes it could be or even six weeks, but uh, as long as we get paid, we don't mind. Uh, one thing I don't like doing is chasing money. Boy, I'm gonna crack on with this while Michael does the mowing, because he does actually have to come and mow this little strip in a, in a bit. So hopefully I'll get this done before he comes up here. So I'm just going to prune it into pieces and put it straight into the bag. That looks better. I think they'll be happy with that. Smog has done that now, looking good. We'll probably continue cutting on that height now for the rest of the year. I have got a new mulching mower which I haven't showed you yet. Um, probably show you in a later video. So I'm tempted to bring that up here a bit later on in the season. I think this uh, video may come in three parts um, as I'm going to be taking a bit of footage on each place I go to. If I get to all three places there's a bit of rain due so uh, we might not even get to the third place today. Anyway I'm all strapped up ready to go. I'm not going to have all these tools on here all, all, all season by the way. Um, as soon as I finish the lawn care work which I do at the start of the year or towards the end of the year machine wise um, all that stuff will be coming back off. Uh, still be doing the lawn treatments but uh, yeah we won't, won't have all these machines on all the time so uh, give me a week or two I'll have uh, more space on the back of this flatbed. Um, so if this video does come in three parts this is the end of the first video so if you like these videos please give us a like uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, i'll catch you in a bit 